So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to study an animal in real life using a technique called an ethogram. And an ethogram is a data collection sheet where you study the animal and track its various behavior that you see uh, throughout the time intervals that you set. So in this assignment, we are going to have 15 second time intervals. And you can see that I found a video on YouTube that uh, is just broken down into 15 second intervals and it's going to make a beeping sound at every 15 seconds. That was the beep. Uh, and then, so that plays for about an hour or half hour, I think. So we should be good for this assignment. But of course, you could just restart the YouTube video. I also am using a webcam from a zoo that I found on elephants. Um, I chose this one because the elephants were awake. It's during the day. They're moving around. So it seemed like something that I could easily track and control. So I'm going to be picking out one of these um, elephants to study. So the animal to investigate on my sheet, I'm going to pick elephant and write that here. And then I'm going to write the URL of the webcam here, but I will look up that later. I'll write the time of day and right now it is uh, about 11.45 a.m. Um, and so I'm gonna say morning, okay? From there, I'm going to pick a behavior that I want to study. So I see that the elephants, um, now you've gotta pick a behavior that matches the type of animal that you have. Uh, generally, you would assume that a tiger isn't going to spend a whole lot of time swimming, for example. So you want to look at them and watch them for a minute and see what behaviors you are seeing. So one of them looks like they are eating is one behavior. So I'm going to write eating in the first box that I want to study. Up here, there are some examples, pacing, standing alert, grooming, interacting. There's a lot of examples there that you could use. Then at each 15 second interval, I'm going to look at how many times I saw that behavior. So if you um, wanna pick an animal out of here, I'm going to pick, I was going to pick this elephant, but if that one's ready to walk away, then maybe I wanna pick a different elephant. So let's see. That one looks like it's ready to just walk away. So I will pick this elephant here on this trial. And if needed, you can use a different elephant every, or like a different organism for each trial if necessary. It's, it's more teaching you the technique for right now. So I am going to look at this elephant and at 15 second intervals, every time I see this elephant eating, I'm going to make a tick mark. So we're ready, almost ready to start. Okay. I'm gonna watch this elephant and see if I see it put food in its mouth. I haven't yet. Oh, there's one. So I'm gonna put a tick mark. Okay. That was just one time, but now we're gonna move to the next time interval here. So if I see it put, a, put food in its mouth, I'm gonna put another tick mark. Okay, I didn't see any, so that's gonna be blank. Oh, now on this third one I did, he just ate a little bit. It looks like a she actually. Let's see if I see that trunk come up. Oh, I didn't see any more, so I'm gonna leave that blank. Okay, I saw one now. And a second one. Okay. Okay, it looks like that was a bite like a longer piece of straw. Okay. Okay, there was one. 
and another one. And we're under the next interval. Right, okay, there's one. I, right now I have, I'm at the two minute mark with this elephant and eating. Okay, we're on the 215 mark. And I'm gonna put a mark and another mark and another mark and another mark. And that next one is blank. I didn't see any. And one more. Another one. Okay, so that's it. So you can see all the tick marks that I have. These with the straight lines, because I'm holding it weird. These are gonna be, I didn't see anything in these. And that's okay. Um, but then I'm going to look at different behaviors that the elephant has. It can be walking around, it can be playing, and it doesn't have to be done right now or all at the same time, but you're gonna wanna observe five different behaviors. When you complete that, you are gonna come to this back page and you're going to um, graph the number of times from your chart that you saw the animal have that behavior. Make sure you have a title and you label your X and Y axis and then probably color this in. This is going to be a bar graph. So over here, I saw the animal eating one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 times. So I'm going to label mine eating And I'm going to put the number of times, now it has to go all the way up to 14. I would say maybe have this um, divided up potentially in threes so that the graph fills the whole chart and it's not really tiny. So I'm gonna go three, six, nine, 12, and 15. And so my eating line is going to go from here to about there and that I can later fill that in. Later you're gonna answer some questions like what behavior did you see the most? Why do you think that's such an important behavior for this animal? How would you expect your day to be different if you watch the animal at a different time during the day? And then you're gonna brainstorm at least four, cater four changes in the environment that could impact this animal. So you are going to think about uh, human impacts or environmental impacts. Maybe you're gonna think about uh, natural disasters that could happen and how it could impact the life of this animal in general. And then you're gonna circle an impact that you wanna talk about for the next couple of questions. So if that change occurred, how could it impact your animal's behavior? For instance, if I put, uh, in a natural environment that it, there could be a really rainy year and there's a lot of plants growing. So if that um, change occurred, how could it change their behavior? Well, maybe they could get their food really fast if there's a lot of food around and then the elephants would uh, have more time to play and to socialize. Maybe they would give birth more. Uh, what traits could be useful for your animal population to adapt uh, to the new changes. So what traits for your animal um, would help the animal survive better given, given the environmental change? And what animals would be those that survive under the new conditions and what animals would die off? So you are going to look at all of that. You're gonna turn this in. For some of you, if your animals, so they've moved the camera now, so as I'm studying the next, the next uh, behavior, maybe if they're just standing here eating, maybe you're not able to study anything but eating right away. You're not able to see a lot of, of walking or play. 
And so if you come back at a different time during the day, you can log the different behaviors that you see. So that's how you complete this assignment. Please make sure to include a screenshot of the animals that you worked on. Thank you.